All right. Your baby, your boys in the trenches. No. Uh, these guys are the guys that uh, everybody forgets their names, but if they don't get it done, nothing gets done. Even with Jordan Travis running around making some plays with no blocking, that that can only last for so long. So these guys have to make a way. Uh, the depth chart's been released. You guys have it posted on old game day. You know how I know that you are a big believer, and and it's it was obvious that the offensive line was better last year, but still not where it needs to be. So, mm -hmm. you know, where do you think the battles are? Who do you think's fully entrenched? Uh, you can take it from there. Yeah, the biggest battle is going to start off in the center position with Caden Lyles coming in as a transfer and Maurice Smith. Uh, those two guys are, are going to compete for that center job. I wouldn't be shocked to see Caden Lyles take that spot and maybe Maurice Smith move to that uh, another position or you know he just backs up and learns from Lyles, who's a veteran. That's going to be the biggest thing I'll watch in this offensive line starting off the spring. I've heard a lot of good things about Lyles coming in immediately, coming in as a leader, kind of like how Dylan Gibbons has, who obviously started right away against that Notre Dame game, against Notre Dame in that game. And so, you know, bringing in some leadership here. But Caden Lyles, I think, is expected, at least for me, by the end of the spring, heading into that spring game, I wouldn't be shocked to see Caden Lyles be the starter at the end of it. Uh, there's a lot of different kind of situations here with bless Harris, you know, could he be moved over to uh, God knows, I mean, could really use him at right tackle. He's a guy that you can move inside a little bit, but he's, he's a dude that you could use almost uh, anywhere. I think he's more of a hybrid guy uh, as a transfer coming in, but Darius Washington too, you know, do you want to keep him who I think you want to keep him at his position at tackle, or do you want to move him around? Um, you know, I think you have a lot of position, uh, changes that you can do in this offensive line. I thought Washington made the biggest step uh, in this rotation, and he really put a stamp on that. Yes, out of these four starters coming back next season, I think he's a one that has kind of locked down a spot. And I think they'll switch around quite a bit, you know, as the FSC's SIDs, we were kind of constricted on what we can say uh, and some things of players being moved around and such. And, you know, we were like, well, that's – Okay, and then you got to see why, because a lot of these guys are being moved around early parts of fall camp, spring camp. So it'll be interesting to see where some of these guys move. Um, but like I said, I think Caden Lyles and Maurice Smith is the competition to watch at center. Dylan Gibbons, I think his place is locked down. Robert Scott also, he's getting projections in the damn 2023 NFL draft. So uh, I thought, too, he made some developments to last year. Uh, just the biggest thing with them, was their the health problems and injuries and that constrained them a lot i think last season to where you know at some points alex atkins said after a practice that they were putting out players in games that had never even played that position which you know they've seen film on it they've seen film but they've had no past college experience in it maybe played a little bit of in high school but you know you had a few guys even playing center last year that had not even played center uh at florida state or in the college ex college level so uh, depth here might be a problem that might be the biggest question mark but there's a lot of younger guys Lloyd Willis uh, you've got Rod Orr who I thought you know looked pretty impressive during practices last year Florida State and Coach Atkins are looking at some of these younger guys to develop you got Dotri Richardson coming in as a freshman along with Kenyatta Charlton uh, Coach Atkins is bringing in a lot of this offensive line class about half of it almost uh, not including some of the newcomers that will be here during the summer, like Quishon Sapp. You've got Armella, and then hopefully Ontavius Woody. You know, a Atkins is doing a fantastic job here. Uh, I think health was a big pro big problem for them, though, uh, last season. This is a group that needs to continue to develop and grow and learn under Coach Atkins. And, you know, there's even some guys like Schrader, who we didn't get to see last season due uh, to injury. Ryan Estes. Uh, you still got Zane Herring there too. So depth, the depth problem is more directed towards college experience, playing in college games more than anything. But, you know, if those guys are able to develop, then I don't really worry too much about the depth. But that's going to be one thing that uh, might be worrisome out of this group. But there, there's a lot of positives. It's crazy to think that, you know, this might be one of the strongest groups going into the spring. I mean, I think, I think it's one and two right there. Uh, heading into uh, the spring, which is a great, great strides, great strides under Coach Atkins and what he's doing.